This segment of DOD TV brought to you by Analogix Outdoors. Know the product, use the product, get results. We're gonna go down here and see what that, that buck's doing. It doesn't sound like he's on a doe. It sounds like he might be dying. We're just gonna go check it out and see what's going on up there. During each season, we have some incredible encounters with some giant whitetails, but you won't believe what happens to these bucks that we're about to show you. I'm Matt Drury, and this is DOD TV. The mad scientist himself, Mark Drury, and cameraman Wade Robinson are sitting in a greenfield during the rut in Missouri, when all of a sudden they heard the most awful grunts and growls they've ever heard in the wild. Well, of course, being the two curious guys they are, they had to get down, check it out, see for themselves just what's going on. Check out this one-of-a-kind experience. Just when you think you've seen it all in the Whitetail Woods, we start to hear the most unbelievable sound. And then what we discovered just blew our minds. We're gonna go down here and see what that that buck's doing. It doesn't sound like he's on a doe. It sounds like he might be dying. We're just gonna go check it out and see what's going on up there. Cause that's he's still that, doing. It. Yeah, he's still he's growling for dip. And he's not stopping. Let's go see what's going on. We get down, discover these two lock bucks. I mean, it's like dream season, the journey flashes in front of my eyes. And I think of what David and Jeff went through last year and I'm like, this cannot be happening again. I can't even believe what I'm witnessing. These bucks literally just got locked up while we were in the blind. The one is Captain Hook. I've got pictures of him this summer. I haven't seen him since mid-August. And then the other one, I don't, I don't know who he is. This is not gonna be easy. Wow. We didn't know really how to react. We didn't know what to do, other than we knew we had to try and get these two free before they killed one another. Well, we gotta try and solve them apart like the Lindsay did, I'd say. Yeah. Would you? I'll watch them if you wanna go get this off. Let's see if we can get them apart. Is the one dead? This ain't good. This ain't gonna be easy. I knew one thing, I wanted to lay it down on video, I wanted to produce it right, and I wanted to have this moment right here and share it with all of America. We started thinking about GoPro views, the camera views, we've gotta get a saw, we gotta get back in there and try and free these bucks up, but let's try and lay it down and let's do it in Bow Madness fashion. Wade brought back the chain pole saw and the normal pole saw. The big one had too much energy, there was no getting that saw in there, and then we said, you know what, Let's fire up the pole chainsaw and try and free these bucks. I mean, they're literally about to break each other's neck. Don't cut their heads, you know. I can't explain to you how much adrenaline we both had in our bodies as these bucks are just throwing each other around and there's water splashing and that one buck looks like He's already about to die. Careful, careful, don't cut him. Dang it, you almost had it, you almost had it. Wow, great job Mark and Wade. I couldn't imagine being in that scenario myself. But you know what? As hunters, I think we gotta do everything we possibly can to save those bucks in that situation. What would you do? Hey you, yeah you, I'm talking to you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and catch more DOD TV coming your way. And don't forget, you'll have a chance to win a full set of Jury Outdoors DVDs. I'm Matt Drury and thanks for watching DOD TV.